Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this beautiful twirl seed beads earrings. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free videos like this. You might also want to like, share and comment and in this way you help me so much. Don't forget that I also have a matching bracelet and if you subscribe now you will see it very soon. Check description for useful resources and you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member of this channel. A lot of work goes in these tutorials so thank to all of you that support me. Now without further ado let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. I use black, orange, white, red and yellow. You could use others of your choice. Here I'm using earring findings. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Also, you might choose to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with great perks and with a course of five videos absolutely ads free. Thank to all of you that support me because a lot of work goes here in these videos. Okay, let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 as well. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I have my 12 here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Here I will stick my needle in my mat and what I want to do is to make a secure knot. And how I do this, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made. Then I pull gently and carefully, okay, like this. And then I will make one more knot. And I have these guys. Now what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to pick up two orange beads and one white bead. And as I'm exiting here I skip the next bead and I go through the following. Then I take two red beads and one yellow. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Then two orange, one white. Skip the next one. Go in the following. And I'm repeating this process until the end of this row alternating the colors red and yellow, two reds, one yellow. Two orange beads, one white. And two reds, one yellow. Okay, now I have this colorful circle and what I want to do is go through these orange beads in this direction. And I'm going to take one bead of the color I'm exiting out of and two beads of my next color which is white. And I go here through the red one. Then again one bit of the color I'm exiting out of plus two of my next color which is yellow and I go through the orange. Okay, 
then again one orange two whites go in the red one red two yellows go in the orange one orange two whites go in the red one red two yellows go in the orange okay now i have this then in my next step what i want to do is go here to the end of my orange color so i'm going through one orange and what i need to add are two orange beads and one black bead and I'm going here in the last white. Then what I want to take are two white and one black. And you see here in this row, I'm going to be taking the color I'm exiting out of two beads of it and one black. Okay, so here I'm exiting out of white. So I'm adding two whites and one black and go in the next bead which is red and from here on i need two reds and one black and i go here in the yellow which is my next color and here you know what you need to add two of the color you're exiting out of plus one black and go in the orange then again two of the color you're exiting out of plus one black okay now i'll show you faster until the end of this row Okay guys and here I am at my last step and pay attention where you go here through the fourth orange counting from the center because here you have additional beads from the beginning of this row don't make the mistake to go through this one okay then go through the next two orange beads now in the next row i'm going to repeat absolutely the same thing guys i go here through these two orange beads so i go until the end of my color i take two orange beads and one black and i go in the last bead of my next color which is white here i take two white beads and one black and I go in the next red one. Then I take two reds and one black and I go in the next which is yellow. And I think you got the idea. It is absolutely the same thing like in the previous row. So I will let you do this by yourself. color you're exiting out of plus one black and continue this and meet me here at this side okay guys and here i am at my last step where i need to add my last two yellows one black from this row okay and now what i want to do is go through these orange beads in this direction again i reach the end of this color this time i need three orange beads one black and i'm doing absolutely the same thing going through the last bead of my next color okay three white beads one black go in the last bead of my next color three red beads one black go in the last bead of my next color which is yellow 
three yellows one black go in the orange okay and i will continue this and meet you here guys and here i am guys where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and pay attention where i go here then what i do is that i wanna reach the end of this color the orange color i go through three orange beads four orange beads and one black go at the end of my next color four white beads one black go at the end of my next color which is red four red beads one black go at the end of my next color which is yellow and i will continue this and meet you here and here i am guys where i'm adding my last four yellows one black and what i want to do next is go through these four orange beads and i think you could guess what comes next it's five orange beads and one black and i go here in the white one then again five white beads and one black go in the red one five reds and one black last yellow and i'm going to continue this until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last five yellow beads plus one black and here what i want to do is to go through these three orange beads and by the way you could expand your work with six seven and more beads if you want but now i'm going to show you how to finish it like this and so i what i said is that i went through three orange beads then i'm going to pick up just one orange and i go through these two orange beads through the black and through the following white okay just like this just to save time if it's easier for you you could do it in two movements if you want then what i do is that i go through these three white beads like this and i'm going to do the same thing i'm taking one white go here and in this way i'm forming beautiful angles and my work looks finished okay i'll show you one more time and i'll let you do this by yourself until the end so i go through three red beads then what i want to take is one red and go through the two reds through the black and through the following yellow and continue this until the end and meet me here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last yellow bead from this row now what i want to do is to attach my earring finding and how i do this i go here one orange bead away from the top okay and i take three seed beads my earring finding and three more seed beads and i go in the same place two white beads from the here from this inner angle okay now what i want to do is to reinforce this by going one more time through it And what I want to do next, guys, is find a place to make a knot. Let's say I'll do my knot here at this angle. I'm making here a loop and I'm going once, 
then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready I'm going through the next few beads and then what I do is that I cut my thread okay guys and now my twist stitch or you could call them spiral stitch or twirl stitch earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't you are invited to share in facebook or instagram your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials please like share and comment this is a great support and uh, you could also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks so you could check them out in description. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me.